Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the Road Armor Stealth front bumper on the 2015 and up Chevy 2500. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this truck has already been put through its paces. Uh, we've had a few different bumpers on here, uh, so I've already got the factory bumper off. If you're taking the factory bumper off for the first time, you will have to remove the grill, take off the bumper, and then you can put the grill back on. Um, another thing is, I've already taken out the factory sensors and I've set them off to the side, uh, kind of oriented in the way they go back in. And I've also pulled off the wire harness away from that. I've got the wire harness set up underneath the truck uh, in the direction it goes back in so I don't get side to side mixed up. Uh, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the new road armor bracket. And I'm going to install it into the factory frame horn. Now when you look at this bracket, uh, you've got kind of the large plate here. Uh, the ear of the bracket will go to the outside of the truck. Um, the, uh, uh, this portion right here is the top. Uh, so the tongue here is actually going to go inside the frame horn and rest on top there. These two oval shaped holes will line up uh, with a couple of holes that are in the frame horn and we can go ahead and attach it. Now this is a super tight fit, so once I start fitting it in place, I'm going to use a mallet to get it where I need, to, need it to go. All right, so now I've got this uh, round hole in the frame horn that's actually lined up to the oval hole um, in the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, our very long provided bolt, throw on a flat washer, and I'm gonna put that through and get it through both sides. Now I might have to bump things around a little bit and then just knock this into place. Once I've got that in place, I'm going to go ahead and put on the opposite side a flat washer followed by a lock washer and a nut. Just putting that on hand tight for right now. Now what I need to do is I need to a, 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 attach this tab bolt. Um, now this has got a, a small hole that comes down to the bottom uh, and it's going to line up to the hole uh, that's in the bracket. So I've got this convenient little uh, hole in the bracket here. I'll take and drop that tab nut. Now once I have the tab nut going through the hole in the bracket and the hole in the frame horn, I'm going to then attach a provided flat washer, lock washer, and nut. And there again, I'm just going to put this on uh, finger tight for right now as well. Next what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, mallet this, this uh, bracket back as far as it can go. Uh, and I'm going to do the same with the opposite side. And what that's going to do is it's just going to make both of these brackets even. Now I can go ahead and tighten down with a three quarter inch wrench or ratchet, both this bolt in the bottom and this bolt on the side. Now I do not have the factory tow hook that actually got removed and discarded with the factory bumper, um, but if I did have that, it would be attached uh, to this tab nut at this time, and then we'll also repeat the same process here on the opposite side. All right, now there's a couple of different install techniques on this or install methods. Uh, we're using uh, the double bolt plates. There's also the tab bolt method. Uh, right now, this is going up to a bumper. It's only going to line up to these holes right here. So I'm going to use uh, the double bolt plate. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to um, slide it down uh, through the bracket uh, to where it comes through. And uh, then I've got this little retainer clip. It's going to slide over top of one of the bolts. Uh, it actually is a little more difficult to put on than it looks. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. Once we get lined up and started on, I'm going to take and force it on the rest of the way uh, with a deep well socket. We're going to do that on both sides. Okay, now I want to go ahead and show you. I've went ahead and installed my lights uh, into the bumper. I've also installed my winch into the bumper. Now, depending on what size winch you have, you may have to relocate the control box. You know, it's just typical winch stuff. Um, now, I've also removed um, my sensor 
uh, uh, mounts from the factory bumper and on, on the inside sensor mounts, I actually just kind of you know, snipped to make sure everything is out of the way and just glued them to the inside of the new bumper. Um, my uh, outside uh, uh, sensors, I actually can uh, split those apart. Now make sure when the sensors go back in, they're lined up the exact same way they came out. But I can fit this in from the front into the back and that'll just snap into place. Once that snapped in, I can take my sensor and slide that in, and that also snaps into place. Um, now, my inside sensor, I'm not going to install that until after the bumper is on the truck, just because that's easier. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tab bolts. Um, I've already done the one on the passenger side or the driver's side. Now I'm going to show you how to do the one on the uh, passenger side. Um, we're going to go to the inside of this bracket mount on. Uh, on the, the bumper itself, and we're going to go to. If you look at this, this is on the driver's or the passenger side. Excuse me. Uh, we're we're going to the outside bottom, uh, just simply because that's the hardest one to get to when the bumper's on the truck. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to take this uh, fastener right here, and I'm going to force it all the way. All right, now once I have both my tab bolts held in place with the retainer clips, we can go ahead and test fit this up against the, the bumper just with one bolt on each side, and we'll put that in uh, finger tight and make sure everything fits up right. Okay, now on a winch model, what we'll need to do is once we test fit the bumper, make sure everything fits right, uh, we'll actually even go over onto the frame horn, go two and a quarter inches above the bolt we have going through there, um, and, uh, and drill a one half inch hole in the side of the frame. Uh, then we'll have a tab bolt that goes down through there and comes back out, and uh, then we'll put the provider hardware on top of that as well and tighten that down. But that is only on uh, a winch mount bumper. Now that I've got those two in place, they're hand tight. Uh, it, it has the bumper held in position. Um, I've got the weight of the bumper supported by a floor jack. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the remaining six bolt tabs and go through, going through the bumper, through the bracket, and then bolt uh, with the appropriate hardware on the opposite side. And that's gonna be really hard to show you uh, with, uh, with the limited amount of space that we have, but that's what we're gonna do. And then once we have all those in place and hand tight, we're gonna line everything up, make sure everything's perfect, then tighten it down with three quarter inch hardware. All right, now if you have factory sensors, this is how you're, you're gonna wanna do this. Go ahead and run your wires. Uh, the inside sensors, you wanna go ahead and snap uh, the sensors back into the harness. Uh, then once those are in place, go ahead and raise that sensor up and snap it into the sensor bracket. Make sure that it's lined up the exact same way that it came out. Then the outside sensors, we're gonna go ahead and run those wires to that sensor location. And then we'll just fasten those in place. All right, now once we've done that both sides, we're gonna go ahead and tie our wire harness uh, in place and secure it. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.